Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going on a little tour of my terrace garden where I'll show you a little pond that I made and a waterfall. So let's go. So guys, this is the pond that I made and I really love this pond. Like it is my favorite here in my terrace garden it's because I made it myself and, mm -hmm. and there are also some hand painted stones and this waterfall that I made with thermocol. I really love being here. It's soothing to the eyes, soothing to the soul. Like it's a real stress buster. Like I really, l I can sit here all day. <laughs> Whenever I want to relax myself, I just come here and sit by it, listen to the water flowing, wash the fish. There are some koi carps in it. Let me show you. Don't mind that pot lying around. <laughs> and these are the hand painted stones. I painted them all. These are koi carts. I used everything like the not everything the bricks I had lying around my terrace and I brought the cement and sand and all mixed it all together and like I got tanned heavily while doing this while making this <laughs> look at this turtle vine like I love it it has grown so much and looks absolutely beautiful and I also love this bamboo dwarf bamboo Actually, I love all the plants, <laughs> but these are some of my favorites. I really love this bamboo. I love bamboos, all bamboos. <laughs> That's the giant taro. This one. And behind it is the ralia. The two cordy lines, you can see the red one and the shaded one. And this middle one is caladium. This is dwarf elephant here. And the aquatic plant is Velisneria. And there's another waterfall that I made. I'm gonna show you. This is the waterfall that I made from scratch. I only use the things that I had in my home, like this. <coughs> This thermocol box, this tub, these earthen pots, and behind it is a stool, an old stool that I use. That's where all of this is mounted on. I had to spend a lot of time designing it, actually designing it. Uh, there was water leaking and ha I had to do something about it. And I had to design it in a way that the water doesn't leak. So that was all. In the next video, I'll be talking about coco peat, its pros and cons and its uses. So please like, share and subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you never miss a video from Gardening with Anubhav. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.